some of the best songs are written about love and I think there's something really inspiring about the love in all the different forms it might take whether it's um, the beginning of a romantic relationship the love between uh, a mother or father and their children um, you know companionship in in old age and all of those kind of feelings just there's a song to write there about how it makes me feel to see that love, that caring, that compassion. And I feel like that's the root of what music really is, is kind of sharing love in various forms um, without, sometimes without even words. It's just the feeling gets trans transmitted and translated through the music. We met as adults through um, Sandy Cressman, Natalie's mom, who I have... Uh, performed with a lot, have worked with a lot, and um, Natalie and I met during a rehearsal that I was having with her mom, then we met at a recording session for one of my songs with her mom that she did, her, that Natalie did an arrangement for, and then we uh, really got to know each other more at California Brazil Camp, which is a great um, a music camp for adults in, uh, here in California. Uh, all I was for, his guitar student. She was my for guitar the student <laughs> for the week, um, and then we found out that when we were um, little kids, like seven, eight years old, we actually met at that camp without knowing. I didn't really speak English at the time. I had just moved here from Brazil. Um, 
my mom was going and she just, you know, I think my dad was on tour, so she had to take the two kids along with her and there was like a kids program and we found these photos, you know, 20 years later of us playing together, um, acting together in the, um, in the, uh, the play about the discovery of Brazil. (laughs) And it was just so crazy that here we are like, you know, starting to date and that we actually had met 20 years before that, but we just didn't realize it and didn't put it together till later. It's a long story. <laughs> well, first of all, Natalie is amazing at uh, harmonizing, I think with anyone really, but um, with me, it's, it's great because I'm terrible at harmonizing. <laughs> so I, I love hearing her harmonize with me. She's just so good at blending and um, following my crazy rhythms and curveballs I might throw at her during a a performance or even a recording. I love arranging your music because it feels like there's so much great raw material already there that the arrangements that I do just kind of write themselves and that's definitely not always the case when I'm arranging other people's music so it's just been a really nice kind of symbiotic process with this project. Honestly I don't think they do the creative process comes when it comes so if it does I'm not sure (laughs) it always just comes when it comes you know I'm always searching for it at least personally I'm always trying to find that creative rhythm and flow and um, I guess if it does um, mess with it a little bit we will never know yeah I think generally you know it's not always that we're inspired at the same time, but I've noticed like when Ian gets struck with inspiration, he has the idea of a song, it's very easy for me to just like drop what I'm doing and get into that vibe with you. But I feel like that could be a potential instance where if you know, you're not seeing eye to eye in your relationship, you know, the, the music suffers. But I also think that our roles are so kind of delegated in the project that we kind of just complete each other's musical sentences and so generally it doesn't seem to impact the process too much. Well I love that you wake up every morning and sit at the guitar and kind of are there channeling whatever comes it's like that I I don't know if it's a work ethic because it's it you know there's pleasure involved for you it's what you love to do but I find that super inspiring that you're just patiently kind of awaiting the next idea to come and it makes me strive to be more patient in my own musical journey. Well, when I met Ian, I was definitely playing mostly other kinds of music and there's something that just really like shook me to the core about um, discovering Ian's music and discovering the collaborative process of, you know, at first it started out with me just writing lyrics to some of your songs and realizing that that was a really cool sound that hadn't been explored and it just took me on this uh kind of different pathway of learning a lot about brazil and not just the music of brazil but the culture and the language all kind of through you and honestly i think that i wouldn't be the same musician if i hadn't really started working with you and being with you like coming up on five years ago so for me it's definitely opened up my perspective of all the harmonic colors, the, the, the uh, rhythmic possibilities in the music, and also not being afraid to make music acoustically in one room with just one other person, and I feel like we're able to create something really full, but I don't think I had the bravery to attempt that before meeting Ian, and You know, his guitar is kind of like a whole orchestra, and so it completes what I lack as just a solo musician. 